Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 105. Halfway through May, good times. Um, everything rolling along. And um, new slides, if you notice. We are part of the .NET Foundation, so I went and made the logo all good and ready to go. All right, so without further ado, our agenda. Nothing particularly ground shaking here. We'll talk about 3103, because that's what we're doing these days. Um, and then we'll do the usual triage pull request thing, and we'll leave it open for questions and comments. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't able to be here with us right here, right now. So the only bit of surprise news is uh, in 3.10.3, Sean's going to be taking over the release. We've promoted him to committer, as you know, and he's you know itching to get into something. No, uh, honestly, Sean's been more involved in a lot of the latest wrap-ups of 3.10.3, so I thought it might be good if um, he just kind of finished it out if he was up for it, and he was. So, Sean, the floor is yours. All right. So I picked up the release at the end, really. <laughs> It was just the WinForms GDI Plus failure and the attached container bundle layout broken issue that both got merged within the last couple of days. So Rob did the build this morning for 3.10.3.2.9.1.7. It's up on the Wix toolset site for everyone to try out. And I guess it's up for discussion for when we want to try to release it. I'm thinking three weeks. But uh, that's pretty much all I got. Three weeks, thoughts? Too fast, too slow. Um, we good to forget Phil. Oh, hey, Phil just showed up. Um, <laughs> I was going to say. Um, kick the wheat tires for a week or two. Yeah, I think three weeks is probably a good thing. Um, I'll push into June. So what are you thinking? June... Something seven. That would be this time that week. June ten. Sean. Um. I'm actually on vacation that week. Okay, so that, <laughs> Maybe that I should week. have looked at that. <laughs> yeah, fine. A week after. Sure, like the thirteenth, maybe or fourteenth. There we go. We'd Lucky have number thirteen. We'd have a meeting on the 14th, right? Yeah, it's fine to have a release out and then have the meeting after it too. Uh, any thoughts from the the bench, Jacob, John, Phil? You guys are going to try this build out right away, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Bob, any opinions? Yeah, I had several, but I was muted at the time. Um, I generally prefer you know, doing releases earlier in the week, just so we don't have to rush on a weekend if things come up. Um, but otherwise, you know, two to four weeks, I think it's fine. I mean, if everyone's okay with it, we could try and do that, like the 31st or the 30th. That's a holiday. Yeah, that's true. We could do it on oh. uh, Memorial Day. <laughs> oh, there, there's our holiday. To do that, we'd need some confidence that people are actually going to go try to do the build. So I guess if pretty much everybody here went off and did that build, that would probably be all right. I don't know that we're going to get anybody that knows it better than Jacob, John, and Phil at this point as far as kicking the tires. And we're going to get testing just from the actual Wix bundle, right? Not really the WinForms problem. No, sorry, not the WinForms. Um, but anything related to the, uh, well, not layout. Mm, that's an interesting thing. Um, but the actual attached container um, problem that we have with the clean room, we'll get that tested with the compressed Wix bundle. That's true. Obviously not perfect because, you know, we had this before, but... Uh, Jacob, I think all of the builds that are in release mode stay fully compressed. We don't switch at the last minute. 
especially since it's entirely possible that we won't do another build of 3.10.3. Like, yeah, this could be our GM. Exactly. Yeah, all the Wix 3 builds have everything attached, and all the Wix 4 builds are all not attached. Yeah, we need to switch 3.11 to not be attached again if we we're going to do that. We tend to put them back to being all attached. Oh, we, haven't, we haven't been consistent with that. We did that for a while, certainly 3.6, 3.7, uh, but I think we kind of stopped after that because we had to go in and, you know, tweak it toward the end. Yeah, this brings up your feature of it'd be nice to be able to control us better, but yes. Exactly. <laughs> no authoring no authoring changes would be nice. Right. Anyway, this will be attached. It will be the way it ships. Um, so Memorial Day? If all of us test it, then I don't see why not. Can you maybe yeah, kick that some wheels for Jacob even? Right? Can you guys, can you maybe hunt down the, uh, Sean, can you maybe hunt down a WinForms person that reported it and try to kick it? Send mail to Wix users and say, hey, we have security fix. We think we have the WinForms thing fixed or worked around. See if we yeah, can I'll get do that. someone from there to confirm it. I know we have one customer at Fire Giant that got hit by this, so we'll go ping them and see if they can try it too. That's great. All right, so tentative release date is Memorial Day. Yep. That works. Cool. That mostly comes about as writing release notes if there's no additional builds. So. Cool. All right. Um, Phil asked, how to test attached? Test attached. I don't don't quite understand. The bug was where a bundle had an attached container, and then you did a layout to a completely separate directory from where the bundle is, and then the bundle that was put into that layout directory did not have the attached container on it. So that would work with Wix because we don't attach the uh, b -b -b framework, that framework. True, but we do attach everything else. Yeah. So the yeah, attached containers. Not a great layout, but. Yeah, the attached containers where you have anything compressed. So if you set like an exe package compressed equals yes, it'll go into the attached container. All right. Let's see if we go. Okay, so it sounds like we have a test case with Wix itself, which we should verify it works all good in this build again. That'll test that. And we'll roll on. All right, anything else on this that isn't good for questions, comments at the end? Chica's typing something. Yes, we do need a set of test cases. We we do. All right, we can talk about that later. All right, moving on. Let's go do triage. Isn't that much this week, actually? I mean, five seems lighter than usual. Um, so starting at the beginning, resolve Wix tasks could not be loaded. Oh, this is the build thing. Yeah, okay. This is already fixed, right? This is fixed. The PR just didn't say that, I guess. Oh, all right, whatever. Um, no, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what happened here. All right. Maybe I didn't have the magic word fix or something. I'm not sure. All right, cool. But this can go away, right? So this is a bug. This can go away. Stuff and yay. The, the less the less we talk about the bug, the better. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Separate fee for minor releases. Yes. Um, Propose solutions create a three ten three build and do that. So this is a website thing. Um, I think it's a reasonable idea. The issue being that three ten two people are getting updates to three ten three when we're still releasing three ten three. It's kind of a side effect of us not really ever planning to do this many 
maintenance releases, but kind of get in there. Or really any, because yeah. we well, had the same yeah. thing with 3.10.1. And, and 3.10.2. And 3. 2. So. Yeah. Um, I suspect we'd have one with 3.10.4 if we ever did one. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, I know. But I, just, I was noticing the pattern there. Um, so I think... Yeah, so the easy solution is to create separate feeds and then point the new Wix builds to that so that they don't have to do that. Another option Jacob does bring up is to um, have a different um, uh, indicator inside the feed and let the BA decide. The thing is that um, we don't rebuild the feed when we have a final release, so we would have to... Um, We'd have to do a lot of interesting work. We'd have to have a much more complicated release process than we do where we could promote a build from uh, released to officially released and stuff like that. Yeah, um, not even semantic versioning solves that problem. Uh, no, and it's, yeah, it's one of the things I don't like about semantic versioning is that to get that, you'd have to rebuild to officially fix your build number. Um, it's like my biggest gripe with semantic versioning. Um, so I don't think... The feed is probably, yeah, so we could do it. It would just be, all right. I, we're not going to design it. I think this is a good feature. Let's put it in the web area, and we could, we have options, whoever wants to try to go about designing this. And what Sean proposes here is the simplest um, to do. Although this would have, I mean, this isn't something we can actually do now, right, unless we, again, want to rebuild Three yeah, the, three. yeah, the BA has to be updated to point to the new feed, so we right. have to do that. So uh, this is I really this is really something for four, right? We should just in four we should, you know, decide on the, the, the design, probably. and make sure that we have it in there from the beginning. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Anybody disagree? Like we're not going to invest that much in doing three builds, so let's just put this in four. What are we doing for? All right, cool. All righty then. Cool, let's do that. Oh, I've lost my mouse cursor. All right, let's hope. MSI property doc should mention restrictions. Ah, and this has already been closed and fixed. I kind of like that the fact that there's no label on this means we still get to review that there was this issue that was happened to be fixed in this last little bit. But Well, <laughs> ideally we triage before we fix, but well, we'll that's merge true. anyway. Yeah, but... but this was a doc change. So it was a doc change gonna... that made a whole lot of sense. So. Yep. All right, cool. Yes, this was a doc fix um, <laughs> that the code didn't match the documentation, so let's make that work. MSI property name restrictions aren't enforced. Ah, okay. Um, oh, and there's a commit for it already in 3... But no PR, so I oh. wanted to talk about this one before we um, no pull before I sent the PR. I have a commit. A pull request is, you know. Oh, like I see. So it found it in another branch. Go. Got it. Okay. Yeah. It's actually a little freaky. It is. So that's why I like the PR commit, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Separate issue. Um, so I, I did want to talk about this because, um, you know the. The restriction is there. Um, the the code, it turns out, was checking in the wrong order. So it went to verify that the properties were, none of the illegal properties were present before it actually added any of the properties, <laughs> which is why the existing check didn't actually work. Um, but obviously, if we start enforcing this, it's a breaking change. And I suspect that there's more than the one person I know about who's doing this. Not necessarily reinstall mode, although that's quite likely. Um, but all of the others, like reinstall. It, it, we, if we do it in three, it has to be a warning, and then we can make an error in four. And honestly, that's probably what we should do. So that people in three know that they need to stop doing this, so when they go to four, they're less surprised. That would be the ideal. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. Agreed. So, warning in three, error in four. All right. Um, one thing I did not have time to open a bug for is that it occurs to me all of the feature selection properties 
should probably be added to this list, like add local. Yep. <laughs> totally. Agree. Reinstall is one of those, and but I'm like, yeah, add local, all the other ones. Yep, add source. Not that anybody does that, but yes. Yeah, because that's just weird. Um, but yes. Okay. Yep. Um, so I will update the PR to make it a warning and then make it an error in four. And I think doing that for, uh, if you can do that warning for all of those, that would be awesome too. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just add it. Luckily, there's, it's a nice little list of strings. So cool. It's easy to add all the bad ones. Util event manifest should create references to files. Oh, I remember this one. Discussion. Um, and this has a PR open. Yeah, I'm with Sean. <laughs> Putting the fixes in the PR is probably better than in the commit message. Anyway, um, yeah, I yes, actually saw. It requires at me to remember to do that. Whereas, if I put it in the commit, it shows I can do it when I make the fix. That's true. Um, so, right, this is the event manifest. Was looking at it, and yeah, Bob found that. Yeah, we don't actually create references to files, but we we do reference them. And so it would be great if the build would catch that. So that makes sense. Plus, you could put your event manifest in a separate fragment, should that make sense, and have the right things happen, should that make sense. So uh, yes, um, would we take this in 3x? It's I don't think it's going to break anybody, at least not in any way that it should no. break them. No. And it's going to be a really small add the reference thing. Any That's votes? Like, true. I'd say 3x. Anybody want to say not 3x? Of course, we'll have to put it in 4. No 4. No. No 3. All right. Small enough. Ah. All right. Last one. Light misleading error message. When last written date is not supported. Whoa. Assemblies into cabs. Doing an the last written date to coincide with the last written date on their corresponding new okay. Um, they have a date of a long time ago. Right. It seems it was not expected date to have and instead of getting an error. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds like light should not well, this is gonna be in the native code, isn't it? Well, I mean the thing is it's it's you know, it's a an exception crash, but it's actually an excellent error message for being an exception crash. <laughs> In fact, the date value does not fall within yes. the expected range. The only problem is it's missing the, the uh, pointer to the parameter that needs to be fixed. Yeah. This is a great one, but yes. it's accurate. Um, whether we can, how well we can catch it is, is another thing. Cause yep. I, I do think we should try to fix it. We should toss it in 4x and see if one, someone wants to try to take it. Not, and if someone really wants to do the work to bring it back to 3, we could discuss it then. Yeah, that works for me. Cool. 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 All right. Um, that's it. That's today. So I've lost my mouse cursor, and sometimes this helps make it come back. Let me see if I can... I'm going to talk about this pull request in three. Let's see if I will make my mouse cursor come back. Oh, I came back. I don't know why, but it did. I found clicking on another window and sometimes getting things to refresh is... I think to do that. Um, so this bug was um, infinite loop when doing something besides install or something like that with the uh, the Wix BA prereq. Oh, just lost the mouse cursor. <laughs> oh dear, this is gonna be very hard. There are so few things on this page to help me. Oh, and it doesn't actually highlight. Wow, I'm blind. I have to look down at the bottom. Ah, anyway. Anyway. So here we are. The prereq was what? Letting help and install. It was skipping over that. And so now if you're in prereq, it should only show help or do an install. So if it's not help, do an install. Right, because even if you're trying to uninstall, your managed BA is going to have to install the .NET framework before the managed BA can do the work to do the uninstall. Right? Right. 
And if you do help, the prereq VA has some help that it can help you with, which presumably just says, I support quiet and things like that, right? Whatever way standard VA shows. Whatever's in the theme. Yep. All right. This was simpler than I thought it was when I first looked at it. I'm like, ooh, this could be complicated, but I think this is pretty straightforward. Um, <laughs> there we go, fast review today. Any other questions, comments? No? No? All right. So we'll roll forward with that in 3.11, and life will continue to get better there. Cool. Anything else people want to talk about? We talked about 3.10. We, talked, we did our triage. We did our pull requests. Pretty light week. Um, what was the date? The Memorial Day, right? Um, right. For 3103. Uh, so that's a couple weeks. Go out there, get the new build. Should be available right now. I hope. Let's try, see if it's there. Yes, 3102917 today. So the build's there. Contribution license. .NET Foundation. How do we request it? Uh, so if you go to documentation on the Wix tools set page, there is the uh, contribution license agreement that walks through the steps to go about doing that. If you send a pull request, um, a new pull request, not an old pull request, if you've already sent one, this won't happen, but a new pull request should also notify you saying, hey, you need to sign this, which will give you the same link, and then you go through and sign that. So. Um, that's it. It's much simpler than before. Um, you just have to go, um, I don't know, do something to kick it off. The easiest way is if you already have a pull request that you want done, you can go through that, click through that contribution license agreement link, and that will get you there. Oh, Sean, you did a thing where you, you pinged the, the bot, and it, it, I guess, followed your command. and No. It didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Too bad. I saw I that. Had to, like, cool. I went through this website and clicked on that link and okay. went from there. Yep. So that's it. That's It's that easy. Hey, it's easier than the old system, which was do essentially the same process and then wait for humans to go about finishing the paperwork on the other side, which took a long time, especially when they stopped reading the mail, I guess. Uh, <laughs> all right. Anything else this week? All right. Go out there, get 3103. Let's finish this puppy off. Let's give um, Sean his first uh, gamer points for um, releasing a Wix release. Um, and we'll move on to, to 4, because there's this other 3 thing, but that's Bob's problem, not mine. So Thanks. Just got to get a call out. All right. Anyway. That's it for this week. You guys have a wonderful week. We'll be back in two... Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, in two weeks, that'll be after the release. So uh, send mail to Wix devs or things like that if things aren't going well, if we have to schedule an emergency meeting or whatever to discuss something, we can do that. But um, barring any bad feedback, I think our next release will be you know, a little virtual party here. Uh, bring your own beer. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.